Not really sure. What did we decide? Are we? Am I introducing you guys as your characters, or am I introducing you guys as your real people, real names? We can go either way here with this one because our listeners have no idea. What I guess it, about it, to it depends. I don't know. How do you feel right now, Shane Davis? I mean, uh, King Arthur, <laughs> King of the Britons. Either one, Ian, Ian Alexander, aka okay. Patsy. All right, I think we just I think we just covered our bases right oh, there. Oh, that was it. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Just cut cut that part out. Spam a lot. Yeah. It's finally here. It opens on Friday. Here at last. Down here at, at last. the Imperial Theater, right? It yes. Is. Uh, we've got uh, Shane and Ian, so respectively King Arthur and Patsy. Uh, how would you describe Patsy? Is he the, uh, I mean, he bangs the coconuts together, right? Yes. Yeah. He's uh, he's furniture to, to the I king. I was going to say living furniture. Living yes. furniture. But like barely back, living. Back in the day, like what what is his occupation? What is Patsy's actual oh, job yeah. description? What is he? Is he a... Um, um, he carries he carries uh, King Arthur's goods, his bads. Would he be a jester? His mediums. Was he like King Arthur's no, jester? He's not really. He's not no. funny enough to be a jester. He's not funny no. enough. Uh, I'd say he's a uh, a squire with no potential for promotion. <laughs> no. He's a lifelong squire. No. In modern times, he would have gotten into radio. That's what you're talking yes. about. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. right. <laughs> that kind of the kind of radio where you play songs, and then in between you say like three words, <laughs> like the 3 a.m. shift. That's just no. doing his best. Unless yeah, unless our <clears throat> listeners have been living under a rock for the last 40 years or so, uh, everybody knows Monty Python. Everybody on some level loves Monty Python. That must have been the reason why you guys got interested in this and, and, and got into this in the first place. Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, since high school, uh, we, you know, we learned Monty Python as part of the comedy world you know yeah. they're they're a, a titan of the industry whatever you want to call it um, so uh, the movies are great the show is great the characters are fantastic and it's great to uh, it's just you know one of the things that I like about it is it's humor Monty Python's brand of humor is like timeless there's a lot of other uh, very very funny people out there but there's a lot of comedians that are into uh, political comedy or satire that has to do with what is going on in, in you know today's right. uh, day and age or whatever you know grabbing from the headlines and making jokes about it but Monty Python it's just silly yes mm -hmm. And that's kind of their brand of humor, and that silliness is what makes it ageless, right? Mm -hmm. I think the safest way to get away from the comedy of the day is to make a movie and a musical based on uh, a legendary king from a thousand years ago. Right. I mean, <laughs> the story's already been told. We all know who King Arthur is, but now he's singing, he's dancing. Patsy's singing. Patsy's dancing. A lot of the comedy is actually uh, kept in the musical version of the show, which is nice. I'm going to be blasphemous. I actually enjoy, I, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of the musical than the movie. Yeah. Just That's just who I am. Yeah. But uh, but I do appreciate how they, they've kept most of the Monty Python humor of, of the movie and of the troupe itself. Uh, but the show is is, is, is much more of a, a send-up of, of musical theater itself and, right. and Broadway shows and Las Vegas shows. And it's like, how much stuff can we get on the stage at one time for <laughs> no particular reason yeah. is most of the show. Well, Spamalot itself, the, the 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 play play the musical the musical yeah. yes yeah. yeah has has played everywhere. I mean, it's yeah. international, oh, yeah. right? Yep, it's been out for ten years. Ten uh, years, March seventeenth, I think, of two thousand five. Yep, was okay. When they uh, debuted. Now, you guys uh, individually, you play the King Arthur role, and you play Patsy yes. the. Jester, <laughs> the, 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 the squire, the, the, squire the, yeah. the squire, maybe the squire. <laughs> the squire. So, um, but it's not. Now, those two characters are uh, are from the Holy Grail movie. Yep. Yes, we but are. Is Spamalot based on Holy Grail? Yes, about ninety five percent. Yeah, yeah, largely 95. it's it's yeah. our quest for the Holy Grail um, with some so other Monty Python sketches bashed in there. Yeah, we've got lovingly. references to a certain meat dish, a spiced ham. Ah, oh, of course, that everyone might be a fan of. Yeah. <laughs> Got a can of it right here. Oh, you got oh, one. There you go. Yes. I've got a can of Spam in the control room. I would like to say it's because I knew you guys that, were coming in today. Right. But it's Is that just emergency supplies? In case? Emer That's you right. can never have enough uh, Spam. pork right. luncheon meat. Right? It's, good. it's good for radio. If you open it up and eat it, it sounds oh, yeah. great on the Let's microphone. On the air. I love Spam. Honestly, my mom or my, my, my wife and my kids won't let me cook it in the house because they say it smells like dog food. So I have to put it on the right. That's barbecue. True. Barbecue. Right. Right. Barbecued Spam, though. That's this is a great plug for Spam. Oh, yeah. yeah, it really is. It smells like dog food. Spam a lot. It opens Friday. How long does it run? So we've got shows uh, Friday and Saturday evenings, a Sunday matinee, okay. and then Wednesday the 27th through to Saturday the 30th. We've got evening shows as well. 7.30 right. p.m. 7.30 p.m. Okay. And the matinee, I believe, is it's 2 p.m. is 2 what usually matinees right. are. Yeah. Uh, tickets? 
Uh, tickets are $28 for adults. No, no. Can I have some tickets? Can you have some tickets? Oh, sure. <laughs> yes, for $28. For, for an easy one-time donation of $28. $28. Bucks. Uh, $25 for seniors, $14 for students. Okay, where do we get them? I mean, we can get them at the door, I would think, but get yep. them ahead of time to make sure that you got a seat. Absolutely. Sure. Tickets are going out. Okay. Of and style. So where do we get them ahead of time, if not at the door? At the, at the box office at the Imperial Theater. Perfect. And online, if you want. Oh online. yes, of course. I yes, forgot about the internet. The internet is a thing. <laughs> it is the future. Yeah. Called the worldwide weed. Yeah, through okay. the Imperial Theater website, they've got a uh, hub right. there. You can get tickets as well. Yep. Uh, King Arthur and Patsy uh, break a leg. Spamalot opens at the Imperial Theater on Friday. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank, Thank you, well, Colin. Appreciate it.